In 1988, I and Brenda, my, my the middle sister, she and I were at Ole Miss, and I came home one weekend, and I was sitting in the middle room at 4162 El Paso, the TV room, and my dad and I were watching Ole Miss play Alabama in Tuscaloosa. And I can remember my dad yelling out loud, running off the tackle, tell him to run it off the tackle, Red. And sure enough, I believe it was a running back by the name of Sykes, ran right up the middle and took took it in for a touchdown. Ole Miss beat Alabama 22-12 to in Tuscaloosa. That was a big deal. Billy Brewer was coaching back then. On other occasions, I remember my dad coaching from the sideline when Royce Pennington was our coach at Jackson Christian Academy. I can remember one time I was playing tight end and he told me, line up here, Daryl, and you'll be right in the backfield once this play develops. As the play developed, I was able to tackle the running back in the backfield for a loss. In that same game, a more majestic moment happened when Jeff Wall coached by my dad again, went and received the handoff of the quarterback to the running back, and then Jeff ran the ball for 15 or 20 yards before he was shoestring tackled. Beautiful strategy. My dad was a great strategist, great coach, great life coach, and great football coach. On that note, I would like to add a couple of of other memories that I have just because they light up in my brain so well. I can remember Eddie Ray saying that he and I tied for tackles in the Knights of Columbus game, the one that we lost 7-6. to six. It was either in the game or for the season. I, I remember him getting up out of some of the piles, uh, David Barnett getting up out of some of these piles, and I'm thinking, man, I'm glad I wasn't in the bottom of that pile. Those guys could lay down some damage, and they could take it too. Great football players and good guys to be with. I believe playing with Bill Meredith, that is in my mind. My sister, Brenda Ann Barnes Ashley, was a cheerleader for the Jackson Christian Academy Trojans. So not only was my dad our scoutmaster, but he also was interactive in sports just a little bit, but enough that I have some great memories of this wonderful energetic times. As a matter of fact, this picture was, I believe, the Christmas prior to his death. This was probably 1988, the year that he called this play, and he's given me a hug. Uh, Apparently, he had given me a gift, or I had given him one, and uh, thank you, Dad. Love you. I talk about how that my dad was an actual football coach and just a life coach to so many people, but it would be wrong for me to not mention the people that coached my dad and that mentored my dad. I'm thinking about people like Arthur Hume. I'm thinking about that wonderful man who was a professional mentor to my dad. I'm thinking about Frank Wallace, his best friend. What a wonderful man. Sandra, Chris, Michelle, whole wonderful family, very kind, generous. How many times we went over and ate with them, I can't tell you the answer but a diamond in our family's history. I think about Larry Barnes, uh, my dad's brother, who after the fact I found was quite the mentor to my dad. Eric Copton, a friend of our family, and not to be left out, my mom. My dad very much revered the thinking of Norma Nell Darberson Barnes, as Larry Barnes would say, she was a country girl, very practical lady. I want to go back to something selfish just for a few minutes because it, all of this weaves together. Earlier in other videos, I talked about how that my dad was scoutmaster, but some of the people he was the scoutmaster of were also my teammates in football. I'm specifically thinking about Andy Hume. Land Renfro, I think Hal White was another name. As we progressed through the years, I can remember that 
KC Bowl, that Knights of Columbus Championship Bowl, I can remember our quarterback, Allen. I think the only score that we made that night was a uh, run back by Terry uh, or a run. It was six points. I can think of Caveman, who was James Spencer. I can think of Clint Davis. And then also reeling back, think about this, the 1970s in, in the earlier team that I just mentioned, uh, Hal, Land, Andy, uh, that would have been the Jeff and Bill in that crowd. We had a female running back. Her name was Julie, and this was the 1970s. She was pretty good. So anyhow, I just had to come back and tie all of this stuff together. It's a beautiful thing, and all of these people that have been in our lives have blessed us, the Barneses, beyond measure. Thank you.